What's good, my boy? Today's video is on productive meditation, and straight out of the gate, let's define the difference between productive meditation and standard meditation. Standard meditation is something that I've been aware of and practiced for a while now. It's There's a lot of woo-woo fairy uh, bullshit assigned with it. There's a lot of people who have a lot of knowledge about it and can describe it as, oh, it's separating you from the thoughts in your head and self, and it'll bring you calm, it'll help you focus, it'll do all these fucking amazing things, okay? I've practiced standard meditation on a daily basis for about eight, well, if I'm being honest, off and on for about a year, every single day for the past three or four months, and... It is extremely useful as a practice for what it does. But productive meditation is an entirely separate thing. With productive meditation, you're not trying to silence your mind. You're not trying to separate yourself. You're not trying to, like that Sam Harris says, um, all these different things that these people label to meditation. Productive meditation is like some Albert Einstein shit, okay? Albert Einstein, Da Vinci, the greatest fucking presidents the America's ever had, uh, the greatest fucking minds that we've ever had in this whole world have practiced productive meditation. It's basically you just doing something physical and working out a problem while doing it. Andrew Huberman, I'm trying to think of the podcast that I heard him talk about it in. I think it might have been Andrew Huberman and Rick Rubin. I think it was that podcast. I'm not sure. I've listened to so many fucking podcasts. I'm going insane over here, my boy. But this practice completely, there is no noise. There is no podcast. There is no bullshit. This is the practice you do when you're like, well, they tell me to s cut the noise out and cut the distractions out, but what do I do? You fucking practice productive meditation, which all it is is whether you're walking, whether you're driving, whether you're running, whether you're swimming, just one of these baseline physical activities that isn't you like under a barbell like, oh, fuck me, boy. Oh. It, it, it's not that. As long as it's like a simple physical activity, where you can still think while doing it. Like running, clear-headed. You're still thinking. Walking, completely clear-headed and thinking you have a fucking conversation while you walk. There is a weird thing scientifically that happens where if you're doing something physical and you're trying to really hard focus on something mental, it just works. It really just fucking works. And it... I'm really complicating this shit at this point, but it's literally you just picking one singular problem, one fucking problem. I'll use myself as an example. I'm a contractor. I'm trying to separate myself from being in the field to being in the wood shop, and I'm starting up this business. I just made my fucking website and did all this cute little shit, and I'm trying. My, my premise is I want to have it in two parts. I want to build things that I can, big fucking things, whether it's some uh, uh, cringy-ass epoxy table, or it's like a hand-carved Scott Dow alligator table, it doesn't fucking matter, and it might not even be a table, it could really be anything, okay, I'll make you a fucking guitar, my boy, that is very hard to ship places, I'll charge the fucking two thousand dollars for shipping if people will pay that, but that's, that's something locally that I will do. But I also want to have a second part of it where I take advantage of the internet and I can come up with something small that won't take up too much of my time to build. That isn't fucking gay ass bedside table phone stand cliche bullshit that I actually care about. I can replicate a lot and sell it for a reasonable price online and ship it all over the world because it's light enough that it ain't going to charge. I don't have to charge for shipping. Okay, that is a complicated ass question. So what I ask myself in my head while I walk, while I run, while I drive is what is this product that I can come up with? And this leads us to my first step. Now, I got this idea from the Deep Work by Cal Newport book. 
can't believe people don't talk about this fucking, this productive meditation more. But, structure it. See how I listed out those variables of it needs to do this, it needs to do this. And then I also have a next question, I have a next question after each one. That's how you, you have to have this shit structured. Because the the main thing we're trying to achieve here is no distractions consistently on that question during the duration of your walk, your blah, 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 your run, your whatever the fuck you choose to do. We're trying to get to the bottom of these questions. And Albert Einstein literally proclaimed this one of the most useful fucking things he's done. I could list probably a hundred different names. I've heard it in almost every, uh, so many fucking podcasts that I've heard from these people at the upper echelon that we respect so highly talking about this shit of like walking and it being great for thinking and coming up with ideas. So y- cut the noise. Here's the here's one of the things we so often when we get a task monotonous task monotonous that we feel is just basic bare bones we think of oh all right i'm going to the gym i'm going for a walk i'm going for a run i'm going for a hike i'm going for any of the drive i'm going for a drive let me put on music or a podcast now i fucking love music i'm in a fucking music studio at the moment i love podcasts okay i sit there and listen to Rick Rubin, Andrew Huberman, Joe Rogan, all these people that I really admire, and I, it just fucking gets the cogs turning in my brain. It's so interesting. It's so interesting to me. It feels like candy for my brain. But there must be a balance. There must be a balance, my boy. You must dedicate times with no noise working out these problems because you keep thinking, what is the what is the main determining separating factor between me and where I want to be? It's like, I, I, I see all these people. They cut the fucking noise. You can't figure out the idea that you, that's going to be your big thing. You can't figure out this. You can't figure out that. You keep beating yourself up because of it. It's because you won't cut the noise at certain fucking points, okay? You have to embrace boredom. And cut the noise and work through these fucking... It's not easy. It sucks. It can be boring at first. You're going to fucking wander in your mind at first. Just like meditation. But you don't be a little bitch. Be the fucking man. Grab your nutsack and get through it. You're not not shoveling coal here. It's like... All my work right now is physical. I'll I'll lay out my day as a contractor because I'm slowing down so I don't have any big projects. I was building like 700 square foot outdoor living rooms and 30 by 40 decks with swimming pools and uh, all this different shit. And now I'm kind of doing small jobs ramping down. And like yesterday, I went, I ran electrical for one job. Well, I do have semi-big job. I'm putting in like 10 fucking windows and a 12-foot sliding door on this back patio that reframed and redid. But I'm going to end up subbing that whole fucking thing out. But I I ran electrical for that. I went and I pulled out fucking 25-foot of iron fence, heavy-ass shit. Just cut all the fence panels down, three, three three bars going across them. And then I had a big ass hammer drill busting through this concrete. And I got that shit done in a couple fucking hours. And then I did, I mean, I worked out in the morning. I did a bunch of other shit. I helped do some electrical on a power pole. I uh, finished trimming around that pool on that deck I listed. It just, I did a lot of physical shit. And this isn't me trying to brag. I'm trying to list examples here. I do a lot of hard physical fucking shit. Oh, I was also on a fucking roof fixing a bunch of shingles for some lady over a fucking lake. So I do a lot of hard physical shit. Again, not to brag, but to use the example of this shit is fucking hard. I understand completely that this meditation, this mind, this mental shit is fucking harder than the physical. You know why? Because with the physical, it's just like the gym. After I pull out that fucking fence and the lady that owns the house is so impressed with, oh, you work so hard, here's here's an extra $40 for you. Ah, here's a soda. They, they, they're like, holy shit. 
I'm used to the work. It's not anything impressive to me because I'm used to working hard in the fucking trades. But this mental shit is like ten times different. Because after I go and get in the car after doing that work, oh, it feels like I just nutted inside of a woman, my boy. It's literally just like you feel so good about yourself. for do- Not like on some cocky shit. But it's like after going to the gym and getting a crazy ass pump. That's the same thing with the physical work in the trades. You feel accomplished. Now this mental work, you don't really have that physical exhaustion. Your whole brain just feels fatigued. And it's kind of, if you're not used to this field of the like mental shit, it's hard to see any true progress. But, I've been rambling on too long. we got to get down to the two major things here. Distractions and looping. Okay? Now, whenever you first start this productive meditation, your brain will do, it will try to immediately go to the most interesting thought, okay? Say I'm walking, I'm like, alright, I'm going to walk, and I'm going to think about the best product for my wood shop. Well, what is the, what, it needs to be like these variables, and it needs to be this, and it needs to, okay, it needs to do this. I need to fix the fucking roof on the wood shop. That's pretty good. Andrew Huberman kind of talked about this uh, routine a lot. He said it was pretty pretty good. What did he, he, he said it was real interesting what the fuck he said. My brain starts munching on that brain candy, my boy, and getting deep in them weeds of distractions. Cut that shit out. That is your main thing you're fighting here. You're fighting to stay on task with the question. Write it down on a fucking note card if you have to, to remind yourself over and over and over and over and over and over again, okay? That is what your brain will do. Same thing with meditation. Say you're trying to do some mantra meditation, and you're just like, orange peel, orange peel, orange peel, in your brain, orange peel, whatever fucking mantra random word do you use. It will try to divert. Same thing with in, out, Oh, what the fuck am I? I hope I don't get a flat tire today. Just whatever random shit. If you've ever tried to meditate, this the same distractive things happen with the productive meditation. So fight against them. I know people say, don't don't push the thoughts out in meditation. This ain't regular fucking meditation, my boy. You're trying to work some shit out, okay? So push the distractions away and center back on your question. Now, the next thing is looping, and this is kind of an unthought of one, or not commonly thought of problem with this. Cat, my boy Cal illustrates in his book, your brain will cycle on a loop base level, meaning that instead of diving deeper into the question and getting to the root answer of it, your brain will just cycle on what you know. It's like, well, I could kind of do... Then it's like, you never really get anywhere. It just cycles on what you fucking know. So if you can avoid the looping and avoid the distractions and just walk. and I mean, this shit ain't complicated, my boy. This is literally just bare bones walking and thinking about a fucking problem. But it is rare in these days where people don't give a shit about this stuff. But for those of us who would consider ourselves highly ambitious, almost to our own detriment. This is a incredibly useful tool. So, experiment with the productive meditation that I've outlined in this video. Tell me what you think about it in the comments or whatever. I usually don't say this cringy-ass shit. And if this shit helped you, give your boy a subscribe. We just hit 400. We're on the way to 1,000. As soon as I uh, finish ramping down after this next upcoming week, the videos will be a lot more entertaining. The quality will be a lot better, etc., etc. New exciting things are coming, my boy. Chase paper, enjoy art and nature, and have a good one. I'll see you boys later.